What you see here is a city called Almere. It's the newest city in the Netherlands, and this caliph is going to be inaugurating a new mosque here. To understand the significance of this better, we met Abdul Haq Kamper. He and his family are one of the earliest to live in this city, and he was at pains to tell us that he had to take us to the one place in the city that defined it, and without which the city would simply not exist. And it had a direct link with the coming of the caliph. So before we visit that place of huge importance, Abdul Haq took us to one of his acquaintances so we can learn more about the city. So can you tell me something interesting about Almer? Oh, I think the most interesting part about Almere is that about 45 years it didn't exist. And now we live here with 210,000 people. And we live here with, I think, about 160 nationalities. Generally, in, like in other countries in Europe, religion now is falling down, belief in God is falling down, and people are becoming more atheist. Oh, I think uh, my country is number one in that. How do you mean? Can you explain? Mm -hmm. Because religious, uh, religion is not very popular, and I think m many more people don't want it anymore in their lives. What do you think the reason is that for that? I think they're disappointed. So, uh, 1st of October, what's happening? It's the opening of the mosque of the Ahmadiyya community and uh, Almere port. You mentioned that now, you know, people are moving away from religion and God. Mm -hmm. So now there's a mosque bu being built and mm -hmm. it, and mosque is the mosque is supposed to be a house of God. Yes. So how will it fit into a city where they're moving away from God? Well, I know in this country not um, a lot of people don't like the Islam because of the negative publicity in, uh, at the news and the media. So I think some people are afraid. And that's why I think it's really important that we bring guests to this uh, mosque. It's the same way I got there, because someone invited me. I was invited to come to the Jalsa um, Salam in the UK. You met His Holiness at the time? Yes. Do you have any uh, um, comments about the, the, what you feel about him as a person or as a leader? I was impressed by his um, humbleness. Did you get to hear his speeches during the... Yes, I did. Uh, what was your feedback? Do you agree or disagree or how would you say is your impression about that speech he gave? Well, the only thing I noticed in myself was that I wanted to hear more. <laughs> so I, I uh, heard a lot of things mm. which I, I think uh, are important to humanity. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. So next, he introduced us to his friend, who is originally from Suriname. It's interesting that there is a huge population from Suriname in Holland. In fact, there are more people from Suriname in Holland than Suriname itself. Hello, we are standing here at the primary school. We are very glad to live here in Almere. It's uh, 10 minutes from Amsterdam away. And uh, I heard about the Ahmadiyya community here in Almere, and it's very vibrant and alive. And uh, that's why I, uh, I was very pleased to hear that the mosque was built here. I got an invitation and uh, I will be there, of course. I heard that the Khalifa will come and uh, uh, what I expect is a great uh, uh, opening with uh, a lot of uh, uh, food and, uh, and a great welcoming of the Khalifa. The neighborhood has also got an invitation to come en masse. And I think uh, a lot of people will come there. I think it is uh, very important that a leader is coming here to, uh, to promote peace. Because here in, in Holland, there is a very negative connotation about, about the word Islam. So we're with Abdul Haq on the way to that area which Abdul Haq wanted to take us to. It's surrounded by water on all sides and Abdul Haq explained why it's so vital to the city. We are now at a water lock uh, to the north of Almere. And uh, I always like to show people this place uh, because of, uh, you can see the history of the project of this area of Holland. Where we are standing, uh, in about uh, 50 years ago, there was ocean here. Actually, the land of Almere is below the sea level. And you can see in the water lock, the uh, difference in the water level is probably about, I think it's about six meters. Uh, if these doors br uh, break, then um, the water will come uh, flooding the city. I always think that this is a big reason to fear Allah and I also love the name of Beit al-Afiyyat which means the house of protection. So from one place of security 
We traveled to another place called Bet al Afiyat, which literally means a house of security. What would the Caliph's message be? First of all, I would like to thank all of you for accepting our invitation and joining us at the opening of our new mosque here in El Mere. A primary objective of a mosque is the worship of the one God. And so mosques are a place where Muslims join together to bow down and prostrate before God Almighty. The second crucial purpose of a mosque is to be a place for Muslims to strengthen their mutual relations and to develop unity amongst the community members. The third pivotal objective for any mosque is to be a means of introducing non-Muslims to the teachings of Islam and to fulfill the rights of the wider society. It is to provide a platform and venue from which Muslims can join together to fulfill the rights of their neighbors and the wider society, regardless of creed, caste or color. We spoke to some of the guests afterwards to ask them more about the significant opening of the mosque and the speech of the Caliph. Deputy Mayor, um, you spoke from the heart today and you spoke about how you are a child of Almir. And in 42 years we have grown from zero citizens until 210,000 inhabitants. People from all over the world, from all kinds of religions, came to Almere, to this wonderful place. And now we celebrate here the diversity in one of the most diverse cities in the world. So as a child of Almere, not as deputy mayor, as a child of Almere, what was the significance today of you know, the, what His Holiness was saying? The words of uh, His uh, Holiness are very important for our city. Because as I already told, this is a city with no history. We write history every day. And today we have a new wonderful addition to our history, to our future. And as a new town we uh, get to settle and we get to make new traditions. And with the city of Almir we now embrace the whole new community of the Amandia Mosque. The Amadia community, and we embrace them as part of the new Almira society. Uh, as far as the uh, Amadia Jamaat is concerned, they are very nice people. Uh, they are a real example of a brotherhood. To me, they are a real preacher of Islam. Um, when did you move to Almir then? Uh, we moved to Almira, I think, 25 years ago. Yeah. At the time it was a much smaller population. Yeah. So, so this mosque is a new chapter in the history of Almir, yeah. considering it's such a new city. Yeah. Um, how did, what did you think about the speech of the Caliph today, His Holiness? Uh, my impression was that uh, he made me curious, so I wanted to know more. Are there, are there any particular aspects which made you more curious that he said? Yeah, he, he said like um, the community community should, should uh, take care of each other, uh, meet your neighbors. You from Elmer? I Yes, I live in Almir. Yes. How long have you been here? I've been in, in Almir? Well, for the last 23 years. What do you think about the message of the Caliph? He spoke about Islam, he spoke about charity and service to mankind. I loved it. I loved it. I, I was so so touched by his his words. And I have the same I do for, for mankind also. So, you know, we, we need to live in peace with each other, help each other. And I think if everybody thinks that way, there would be a better place here on earth for everyone. What do you think of the Caliph, just generally, your first impressions of seeing him for the first time? Immediately you notice when he, he's coming in, the whole uh, vibration in the room <laughs> uh, changes and, uh, well, you, you know something, someone important is coming, entering the room, yeah. Yes, I think he's a very kind person and he know what you talk about. He's very warm, very inspiring and um, I uh, take that uh, inspiration with me 
And I take that inspiration to bring Almir uh, forward because uh, his uh, message of peace, his message of love is uh, what I work for every day and uh, he gave me strength. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed the event. Yes. And I hope you have a good evening and uh, somehow getting through this heavy rain. Thank you. Thank you.